One Owner Car Guy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com. And what I got here for you today is a nice fire truck. Mark is it a nice fire truck. A big boy. It's a 1989 Javelin by Pierce. I believe it's got 30, 33 or 38, let's say 35. I'll look right now, I'll get that on there. But I'm gonna take a couple stabs at this. This is gonna take a while to do a video. Wow. <laughs> That's the end of the neighbor's yard, buddy. You're all good. I'm all good, huh? You're all good. I'm going to show you everything on it, up close and personal. Um, it's in great shape. Like I say, super low miles, well maintained. I got receipts on this into the 30s of thousands of dollars and um, all kinds of manuals and everything you can imagine. One problem I've got is I got lots of cars. And I ain't really got a lot of places to put lots of cars right now. And this is kind of a fire control type of uh, um, I wanted a fire truck. How's that? So, the fire control and wanted a fire truck. Um, good truck. My name is Nathan. It's 406 546 8748. And I'll go just to kind of a quick once around. I'm going to go up close and show you any of the damage and any of the compartments and cool stuff like that. Um, like I say, I just don't have a lot of room to do this. Um, that foam cannon on top. It shoots it way over into our neighbor, man. That foam cannon is something else. Just the water shooting it out of there is amazing. Um, it's got hoses on the hoses, and you can imagine. It needs to be destickerized. Um, but overall, it's in super good shape. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Check out some pictures on there. I took a lot of them. Um, it's got the siren, the speaker. It's loud as can be. I've had people want to come by and buy these things out here selling those things. Um, I'm selling it as a whole. This piece of stainless or whatever in the front is just beautiful. Like a brushed nickel, brushed stainless. Um, like I say, it's a Pierce. Um, not a whole lot to say on it. I'm going to show you underneath. You got little uh, doors falling off of that. And I'm just going to show basically anything I think you might want to see. Very well maintained. Here's a look up under the back of it. Super clean rig. I'm gonna show you the sides too. Wheels are all clean. Um, it's a good rig. I'll put some video of the receipts that I have for all the rebuilds. But that's your undercarriage. Here's three more books I have on it. Um, yeah, it's got everything about every part on this truck. It's even got the first page off again. It's even got the little things that will take you right to what you want. Like a legend or what have you. Okay, all sorts of receipts and stuff. Um, this one here is 22,000. This one here is like 16, 21, or 21, 2011. Uh, there's another 3, 4 here. 3, 4,000. And some more stuff. And I even have another little bit of receipt somewhere. Um, this door, they scraped it across something right there. There's a little indention, like ding there, dent. Scraped it right across there. There's no really, well, there's a little bit of one right there. But very easy fix on that. They also put it down that door. So that could be repaired. That's about the only body damage I know on it here. Now, I do have the ladders. I'll sell it with or without the ladders. Uh, let me show you the ladders. Oh, I'm thinking ladders. Bam. So there they are. I believe this one's a 14 because it's marked 14. And it looks to be about 14 foot. That's marked 35. And there's three levels to it. And I'll tell you what. Super light. Super, super light. And they are a duo safety ladder. Um, is that both of them? Well, I know the bigger one is. They look to be about the same, but not sure on the 14. Um, that's a cool little insignia. Um, in here, let's show you this. Got the extra. I think that's the suck them in hose where you take on water, if I'm not mistaken. 
And this has a thing where you suck in the pump. I mean, suck in the water out of the lake if you have to. Uh, from what I know, it has just about everything on it. But you could imagine. Huh. Let's open this. I already took a, a video of inside the um, engine bay. I'll throw that in there. And lots of hoses. And I got nozzles and things that can go with it. If you want the breathing, the app, the breathing machine things, I got that. Lots of storage. You can rent this thing out, man. Take it to pay raids. Or put out fires with it. Eh, I don't even know. How does that one open? Oh, it, well, I'm sure it does. Little handle in there. Things like that bug me, I tell you. Okay, so. Close this. And. The. Aluminum or stainless or whatever the diamond plate is on this thing. Still in great shape. You could probably shine it. I ain't got no help, man. Look at some water spots on it. I ain't got no help. I got plenty of cars, but no help. So it's just me and my woman. So we ain't been doing a lot of extra deep detailing. But there is a lot of cabinets on it. Three more air tanks. And all the air tanks I am looking at selling separately. But I could make you a deal with them if they're not gone by the time I sell this thing. Mm. Oh, cool. Huh? Must be where you keep all your nozzles or something. I'm not 100% sure. Fiberglass like insulation, checking your oil. Oh, yeah, more seats for the back. And then this side, I guess you'd say the heart of the operation, maybe. And everything we've checked on this thing works. Um, and that, like I say, that foam cannon is something else. Okay. Well, if my buddy was here, he's Mr. Fireman. He'd know what to say about this. I personally don't. But that's your thing. Uh, this is your batteries. And I came out here during the winter... There's some on the other side too. I started it, um, oh, every week or two. You know, I had that kid take everything out. He did a good job. That's the seats back here that fit here. Got your uh, temperature control. And that's air conditioning and heating. So it's kind of cool. And some instructions for the truck. I told him to keep my books separate. He might have put them in the other end. Don't know. And see here, we didn't we didn't wipe this out. And I should have. But I didn't. So, it is what it is. Looking for a fire truck that's pretty much ready to go. I think this is it. So, okay. I'm going to wait to show you the inside when I got a little bit more darkness. I'm going to show you the top. And um, take some more pictures. Okay, there's your lights. Top of your cooling system. Everything's diamond plate up here. Um, and there's your crossfire foam cannon. And I'll put a picture of that maybe at the front and here. But this thing's freaking mean. Wow. <laughs> Let's get into the neighbor's yard, buddy. You're all good. I'm all good, huh? You're all good. Okay, another video to put in here. This thing, it shoots it out a long way. I think that's for your phone. I'm not sure. And there's a lot of hoses up here. 
All right, I got the motor opened up here, and I'm, well, the, the hood. I'm gonna show you the motor. It might be loud. I'm gonna show you close the stickers where you can zoom up and read them. So, it's gonna be loud. It's super clean. In the top part here is his hoses. There is a nozzle on that one. And this just closes like so. And most of these hoses do not have brass ends. They have the metal ends or magnesium or whatever they are. Some of these have the brass. These are not brass. And these are not brass. There's another one. And those two, I'm gonna think I'm gonna leave it with them. You'll we'll see in the video when I get done with it. Okay, beautiful day. Sun is going down in the mountains. Nice Ford F250 Dually 4x4 manual. And I'm gonna take some more video of this with a different kind of light. Um, shinies can be. You know, a guy could probably um, wax this thing, polish it. We just washed it. Um, like I say, don't have the labor right now to do what I need to do. Uh, sure is a big fire truck. Can't get it in the whole frame. But this will give me the interior. I'll be able to show you everything. It gleams, man. Gleams in the sunlight. And the dustness of whatever you might say. Nathan, 406-546-8748. This side, there ain't much to talk about. You know, it's not all dinged up. It's not like you'd have people parking next to you or nothing. So you don't really see the dingage. There's a slight chip here and there that um, uh, you might find. Uh, nothing really to write home about. But, you know, a little smudges. Well, that's something on the paint. A little chip right there. And the smudges right here. So, other than that, clean as can be. Um... I'm going to go ahead and show you the inside. We'll just start this thing up and do it to it. Lots of <laughs> uh, diamond plate everywhere. It's got an air seat. An idiot is attempting to reach you on your cellular device. An idiot is attempting to reach yeah, you on your cellular that. device. Yeah. Okay, it's okay, there's a little tear in the seat right here. And they put something over it. Starting to tear, and they put that over it. That's the only part on that. A bunch of stuff here. Try and get some pictures of that. Um, let me get in and fire this thing up in my air ride seat. It was 38,255 miles. Um, so, this light is on, and the ASR, ABS light, is on. Those two are on. This one wasn't on. It's intermittent. Uh, you get a little belt squeal when you start it up sometimes. And, where's my flashers? Outside, outside. I'm going to keep my flashers on. Uh, battery switch, ignition switch, parking brake. Uh, when you open the door, this flashes. And it flashes a red light up here. Kind of cool. Um, kind of seems to hold the air all the time. Uh, when you start up, you got it. It's got this here. Astro something. But this gets all the calls from everywhere. Now, this thing is super cool. It's a Code 3. Noise canceling, code three. Uh, there's some pump stuff, you got a high idle button. And let's get out and look. And then we're gonna get my kid out here to help us do the siren. 
Okay. Okay, I got the lights on. We got the lights on and all this stuff, man. We are doing it to it. I tell you what, my neighbors would come out here and mess around with the, the air horn and the siren. Because my kid loves it. So, that is the... What are you doing? What did you hear the fire truck? I want to drive inside. You want to drive inside? Yeah. Okay, get in the other side. Okay. Let's go. You come here this way. Oh. You're gonna be the. You're gonna be the passenger. Come on. Hello, Vlad. How are you doing, Dad? That's <laughs> very good. Okay, so we got it started. I probably popped in the my kid talking on the radio and the sirens here somewhere. But pretty straightforward on the front. Um, nice and clean. You got a couple of these. Jeez, people are trying to get a hold of me like crazy. There's all your wiring. Very accessible. Kind of cool, actually. Can you believe somebody would text somebody this many times in a row? There's a couple of them, actually, but... There's extra fuses and stuff like that. Uh, it's an Allison automatic. There's some paperwork on that. There is this. About the pump. And I'm gonna have to go look for the stuff on the fire truck. I've got it in the other thing. Um, man, room for all the tanks and everything. And I've got lots of tanks, just let me know what you need. Um, roof's in great shape, or the headliner. Let me show you the back here. Well, this is in good shape. See like a little chip here and a little chip there. Oh my goodness. Can you believe it? This is the same one guy calling. Okay, different guy texting. I've never even looked in here. I have no no clue what's in here. Nothing. Nothing in there. Okay, well, that's that. Same thing for the door panels. Great shape. Once again, the seat pads for the inside are in the side storage there. Uh, they were taken out. They actually had all the tanks and everything in here. Pretty sure they put them in there to where it didn't tear them. But, man, ain't much else to say. It's a pretty big, awesome commercial piece of equipment. So just to make sure I gave you every possible angle here. Man, I kicked my shoes on, my sandals on this thing until just now. I'm trying to keep it clean. And my kid got in and talked on the thing. So we got a little dust in it. Everything's here. It's all functional. It's a good machine. Um, and it's maybe just exactly what you need. Who knows? Um, it's getting to be dark. I might just come out and just turn the lights on at night. Cause it just looks cool. In fact, it's kind of an advertisement just to have all the lights out here. Old pickup trucks. I got a Matco step van. All kinds of cool stuff. Give me a call. Nathan, 406-546-8748. Give me a call anytime. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Check out some of my other videos. There's probably about 6,500 of them on here. I don't know. A lot. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. So came in the storage trailer. There's um, one, two, three, four, five more tanks, and one, two, three, three breathing apparatuses to hook on the backs of them. Here's your um, 
service manual and basically everything about it. First page is off, but the rest is all in there. That's why I asked him to put it in there nice and flat. But there's your manual, there's everything. Um, also, I can make a deal on any of this that you want. I have extra stuff here. Okay, so I'm out here at night. Got the lights on. Yeah, and, and Vladimir's you... here. Yeah, hi, hi, whoa, whoa. I'm going to jump. Whoa, blurry. So, um, there's the lights flashing and blinking. I'll show you the interior and what that does. You getting down? I see. Oh, there's a key? Leave the key right there. Leave it right here. Leave the key right there. Okay, the interior. You get a flashing light up here. Yeah. And you can't talk on it right now. You can't talk on it right now. Okay, that's that. Booby boom. Flashing lights everywhere. So that's the fire truck. You got any questions? Uh, it's an 89 uh, uh, Pierce Javelin. Uh, you can call me, Nathan, 406-546-8748. Oh, Vlad's up there. Be careful. Jeez. Let me turn it off. Okay. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. We'll be a bunch of pictures on there. He climbs up there. I tell him, be careful. He goes, I am. But it's dark. So, thanks for watching. I got to get with him. We'll talk to you. Bye-bye.